Tell me honestly, how many times you've shut down your intuition because you didn't feel safe? How many times you've buried your own dreams because people around you told you you're gonna fail, you're gonna fail? How many times you repressed your own good qualities and your own light because you didn't want it to exceed other people around you and you didn't want them to feel intimidated. You wanted to fit in with certain individuals. And lastly, please tell me how many times you're going to do this again and again and again and again until when you will do this to yourself. It's Sunday morning. I've just woke up. <laughs> I do not care how I look on the camera, but I'm in my grandparents' village and the church here is going to be sanctified, if that's the right word in English, which happens once in a hundred years. And now you can imagine that my controlling mother is going to force me to go to church. Even if I told her, no, I'm not going to. And I found an excuse that I have only like, you know, wait, let me show up. I have only short pants, you know, and I can't go with short pants at the church. And then he, she has gone to the city in the morning to take my pants that I have at her house. And she, when she'll come back, I just expect her to force me to go to church. I drifted from my religion for a hundred reasons. And one of them is the fact that Price tried to tell my mother that I am to blame because I don't communicate with my father who abandoned me. Like, look how twisted things are. And my father who abandoned me is, uh, is into regional politics. He, he does business with mayors and he also was an, a vice mayor. But he didn't pay me my financial rights because we never took him into court. For the reason that he has so many relationships and she, he's the type of, you know, core politician, even if he isn't specifically a politician, but he hangs out in the most corrupt political party and around the most corrupt people. And some of those price told my mother, oh, you know, your, da your daughter should request money from him. And I'm like, what? Excuse me? Excuse me? Should I beg for my father's attention? Should I beg for, for human decency for my corrupt politician father who didn't care about me and abandoned me for, from such a young age? So this is just for context, because I won't get too deep into why I don't like my religion. There is a lot of stuff to unpack. But the thing is that I want to quit, because this is the video about. I want to quit the persona that's so convenient for others, but so detrimental to myself and to my own health as an individual with with complex post-traumatic stress disorder, with chronic diseases, with OCD. I want to heal. I want to follow my own authentic path. I don't want to be a slave to society standards. I don't want to be a slave to the standards of my own family, which most of them are just dysfunctional. I'm not the people pleaser that I was in the past, but I still still am sometimes some, somehow a people pleaser. So I want to quit this persona. I want to quit the path that's been forcefully assigned to me by other people, which don't even know what's better for me. They know just what's better for themselves. And I want to quit my toxic environment as well. So this is, so this is not the video that you expect. I'm not going to quit my goals and my dreams. I'm not going to quit the healing journey that I was in since I was 13. I'm not going to quit working on myself, on my heart, on my health, on everything that is good for me. But I want to quit. 
everything else that doesn't align with my values. Be it relationships, be it jobs, be it, I don't know, business opportunities, be it sponsorships, be it whatever. I don't want to deal with anything or anyone that will fuck with my own mental health. I don't even want to quit this YouTube channel, although I see it as kind of dead, <laughs> to be honest, but I'm still very grateful for the few subscribers that still come back to my, to my videos from time to time. But I want to quit the advice that other gurus tell me. Like, for example, if they tell me that I should have like a perfect thumbnail and uh, the perfect clickbait title and shit like that. And I'm like, no, I'm going to listen to my intuition. If I want to put a, a normal average thumbnail to my YouTube video, I'm going to do that. If I want to take my phone and just hit record and record myself the way I am today without my ring light, without my microphone, without all the equipment that's needed, I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to follow my intuition. Because as much as my intuition seemed like it always uh, took me the wrong path, m my path was never wrong. Until I started to listen to other people and their opinions which are just trash because it, it, it's, it's not applicable for me as a person, as a neurodivergent person with um, CPTSD, OCD and all my chronic diseases. It, it's just not applicable. I have to follow a different path because I have acquired neurodivergency and I cannot do what most people want me to do, like go to school, get a job, um, marry yourself, do kids, and just retire and die. I cannot. First of all, because I'm a very, very creative individual. And creative individuals cannot be forced into certain systems. Do you understand what I mean? Let me give you another example of what I want to quit. So, I am a student at um, Faculty of Economics and Business Administration. It's a profile of management. And right now, in October, I will get into the second year. But I want to drop out. And you know what? Not because I'm not good at math because I was always good at everything academically. I was always the gifted child, although I was mentally ill. But because I don't like it, I don't like math. I'm a creative individual. I'm an artist, I'm a photographer, I'm a percussionist, I'm a writer at heart. And I won't fucking stay here and listen to what other people are going to tell me. Oh, you know, you're going to be um, replaced by AI. Or, oh, you know, you, you your path of entrepreneurship, you, it won't go where you want it to go. Because I've also worked in marketing and I've quit um, a toxic job where... I was misclassified as an independent contractor by an American company. This is another, <laughs> this is another story, in, an interesting one. But the thing is, I feel like I don't fit into the academic structure and I don't even want to talk about how university is so fucking toxic in my country and you have teachers that don't even know why they are here or or they are only chanced to teach you the uh, domains that they have to teach you. And so why should I be part of a corrupt system just because authors are part of it as well 
and I just have to fucking follow the crowd. No, it's not gonna happen. Sunflower seeds. <laughs> because I don't have water snack. I think my mother will come to take me to church. And it's gonna be such a fucking conflict. No, <laughs> thanks God, it's the car with the bread. <laughs> Okay, so back at what I told you. You're gonna die one day. And you want to think about all the way in which you sabotage your own potential because you listen to all those standards from society and from the people around you. And it just came against your intuition. Just think about that. You have to quit being the persona that's detrimental to your health. You have to quit all the things that make you a worse person. Not worse. I wanted to say the person that you're not meant to be. So you're meant to be pretty big in this life. If you're seeing this, I'm sure you're meant to be pretty big. You're meant to to have all the things that you wished for, you're meant to heal, you're meant to stay in safe environments and thrive there and stay around safe people as well. So please, please, please quit now. Do not wait. Quit all the bad habits, quit all the toxic people, quit the toxic job, quit the university, if that's not what you want, quit, quit, quit. Quit listening to Guru's advice when it comes to your, uh, you know, things that you want to work on. If you have a business, for example, or if you're doing digital marketing, like me, you don't want to follow the footsteps of other people because it, it, when, it will not work. You don't want to copy other people you know, on the, about, on their path. You want to create your own path and be the person that your inner child needed when she or he was little. Reparent yourself and stop being a people pleaser. I love you guys and I'm not going more into depth because I feel like I already talk enough. This was the whole message of the of the video, even if it's hard. Please, please, please do not quit yourself, but quit just the things that are very, very bad for you and that doesn't help you or align with you on your authentic path. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe so that I can, you know, that I can make more videos like this because I'm still fucking stuck in this toxic environment and I really need a breakthrough. I swear, yesterday I I was fucking crying. Today on my camera, I couldn't be more vulnerable. I wish I had filmed this video yesterday, but you you kind of get what I'm saying. It's it's fucking hard to stay in a toxic environment and to always be uh, around those main character type of people that want to control you and want you to do everything as they please. It's fucking fucking hard and draining, and we we need a way out. So thank you for watching. See you in another video.